Welcome to Thursday's yoga flow class for the full body. So taking a couple of breaths here, calming your mind for a moment, sitting up nice and tall. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. A couple more breaths here. Now we're going to slowly wake up, open up your eyes, inhale your arms up, turn the palm out, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, one more, inhale your arms up, exhale down, reach to side bend, right arm down, left arm up, reach and stretch, looking up. One more breath and slowly release, go to the other side. Reach and stretch, lengthening, looking up. Slowly come back to center, opposite hand, opposite thigh, the other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly release the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh, the other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back. Turning the neck as well. Slowly come back to center, don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly come back to center, neck stretch. Ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm up. Use the same head, glide support the head. Lengthening the side of your neck. I'm gonna go to the other side. Ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm up. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Slowly coming back to center. We're going to inhale, open up, chin up, half up. Exhale to close, chin to chest. Inhale to open, feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Exhale to close. One more. Inhale to open up the long heart chest. Stimulating thyroid gland. Exhale to close, chin to chest. In the cover of center, exhale to overlook the right shoulder, go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. In the cover to center, chin up, her back. And then chin to chest. One more, inhale, center, exhale to overlook the right armpit. 45 degree angle, slightly tuck the chin in. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. 45 degree angle, slightly tuck the chin in. Looking down, slowly come back up. And we're going to go into a tonsil turn, starting our small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper tonsil turn. Moving your shoulders as well. Warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, go the other way, reverse. Touching all four corners of your space. I'm going to slowly come back to center to release. Inhale, some lengthen, exhale, bow down. Walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat, shoulders relax, forehead down. Lengthening the spine, taking a couple of breaths here. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly walk in the hands back. 
coming into a shoelace, stacking one knee on top of the other, doesn't matter which one is on top, come forward. So the knees are on top of each other and we're gonna sit back down. Make sure both butts are down and hold on to opposite ankle. We're gonna take an inhale first, exhale, in forward leading with the chest. Just hang here for a moment. Shoelaces in yin pose as we stretch our ligaments and tendons that we normally don't do in a yang practice. One more breath and we're gonna slowly, slowly come back up and switch leg. Come forward, stack the knees on top of each other. Sit back down, both butts down, both feet on the ground, try your best. Inhale, arms up, exhale, fold. Just dangle here for a moment. A little bit of discomfort. We're not going to stay here for three to five minutes, as in a yin practice. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly walk it back up. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Coming into a neutral tabletop, spread all your fingers, hands underneath the shoulders, knees laying behind the hip, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine, swaying side to side here. Inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a crown. Exhale, run your body as much as you can. Put your belly in place, looking down into your cat. So we're going to do it a few times. Set your own pace and your own breath. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrae. Warming up the spine. One last one. And we're going to slowly come back to neutral, sway side to side, release tension in the wrist. Coming into a big figure eight, same the hip down on the knee, sway the hip up, go to the opposite corner when you add the top of your mat. In the center position, go the other way, reverse, exaggerate, swing the out. And we're going to slowly, slowly come back to center. Swing side to side. Coming into arm balance, right arm and left leg out, reach and stretch, lengthening, forward strong. Staying here for three, two, one. If you need to release, release. Otherwise, we turn and grab all the back foot. Lifting it up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat. One more breath and we're going to slowly release. Sway side to side. Get ready for the other side. Left on the right leg up. Reach and stretch. Link the link. Forward strong. Staying here for three, two, one. If you need to release, release. Otherwise, we're going to turn and grab for the back foot. Lift it up so that the thigh is parallel out to the mat. One more breath. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Way side to side. Bring the right leg up. And we're going to pause it here. Up and down. Let's do another five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release, swing side to side. And repeat on the other side, the feet the left leg up and pulse it here. Let's do another five, four, three, two, one, slowly, slowly coming back down to the knees. Breath the needle, inhale the right arm up. Exhale, slide through the open 
thing dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be in front of you or wrapped around your waist. In the beginning, you can stay here. If you want to put more body weight on the shoulder, extend the left leg out. On your toes or off the mat, any variation you like. If you find that this is challenging to balance, just release the back leg. Both hips are level. Bring with the weight in the head and neck. Just be mindful if anyone who has any shoulder injury or surgery, if you don't want to do this, no problem. One more breath, I'm going to slowly release using the left hand to push yourself up. And we're going to repeat on the other side, inhale the left arm up. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the left shoulder. Right arm can be in front of you, wrap around your waist. Beginners, you can stay here. If you want to put more body weight on the shoulder, extend the right leg out on your toes or off the mat. Or right hand, grab a hold the right foot. Any variation you like to calm yourself. Both hips are level. Once again, if you find that this is challenging, don't worry about the back leg. Now we will slowly, slowly release using the right hand to push yourself up. You're going to get ready to come up. You're doing down drops, but all you can do is have your toes. Lift your hips high, high up, pushing the mat away, walking it out, out by alternating bending your knees. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes, stretch out your toes. Exhale, come over the hair back down one more time. Inhale, up on toes. Exhale, down. Inhale, come forward to a high plank. Exhale, to down dog. One more. Inhale, come forward to a high plank. Strong arm, strong core. Exhale, to down dog. Walking it out, out, and then we're going to walk forward to meet the hands, coming into a forward bend, or ten toes facing in front, legs are hip If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Now stick in the buttocks, let your stomach rest on your thighs, lengthening the spine, stretching our hamstrings, release the head down. Gently shake yes, put the head. Gently shake no. Sway side to side here. Here we go. One more breath here, and we're going to get ready to come up. Hands on weights for support. Inhale, halfway up to the flat mark. Exhale to slowly, slowly come up to standing. Let your breath pressure get used to this. Once you come all the way up, we're going to go back by the counter. Eight to legs to take it behind. Now it goes down and away from you. Lifting chin up and half back. Now pushing the hips forward. Go to pinch your shoulder blades. Open up the lung, half chest. Stimulating thigh right leg. One more breath, I'm going to slowly, slowly release, shake it up, getting ready for cardio, sun salutation. So top of your mat, big toes to touch, align the edge of your feet to the edge of the mat. So listen to your body always. Inhale your arms up, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back, hands on chin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on us, step the right leg back and then the left. Shifting the way forward to plank. Big knees can drop to your knees, hug the elbow by your side and then. Inhale, cobra is for beginners, all up, dog, shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, fall back on your knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into an end up. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Middle or index finger facing forward. Separate your feet two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating bending your knees. Release the head down. Eyes are looking at your toes, knees are better. 
Lay into low lunge on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle. Squaring the hip to the front. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curving. Engage your arms. Shoulders relaxed. Eyes looking up. Place the palm together, release index finger. We're going to inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back there, looking up. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. One more breath, and we'll slowly, slowly release. Coming into a twist. Left arm forward, right arm back. Turn and look at the back. Snowing now, rest by the thighs. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Left hand down, right arm up. We just stretch. Open up the hand. Look at the top of the thumb. One more breath, slowly release, both hands on the big toe side, heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot up to the edge of the mat. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of your foot, rocking forward, backward, side to side. Those who can come down the forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead. More intensity, so listen to your body. We're opening up the right heel flexor. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly coming back. Heel toe, heel toe, walking away right from back to the center of the mat. Getting ready for the twist. Turn the body to the right side, left elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer, press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Advanced student, if you can come up on the back toes, lift the heel high, high up. If you want to open up the arms for more resistance, go ahead. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Hands on mat. Make your way to the back of the mat for hamstring stretch. You can either sit on your heel or come sit down. So sitting down will be the modification. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the left arm up, we lengthen first, exhale, change forward, leading with the chest, holding on to any part of it for the two. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bring your stomach a little bit closer. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Right hand straight, a little bit on the hip joint. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the top of the mat. Hands on mat. Tuck the back toes and step the right leg back. You come forward to plank. Chaturanga is all one breath. Now, who's by your side? Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale to down dog. Take your time to set up. Lifting the hips high, high up, walking the arm out, release the head down. Shoulders are external rotation, elbows are internal rotation, eye of the elbow facing each other. And we're going to repeat low lunge on the other side, so left foot forward towards the left hand, right knee on the mat. Squaring the hip to the front, arms up, holding onto your ball. Engage your arms, shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Front knees 90 degree on top of the ankle. One more breath here, place the hands together, release index finger. We're going to inhale to lengthen, exhale to sink. Slide back and looking up. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor. Thank you. 
One more breath, slowly release, stabilize yourself, right arm forward, left arm back. Turn and look at that. One more breath, slowly, slowly release. Right hand down, left arm up. Reach and stretch. Looking at the top thumb. One more breath, slowly release. Both hands on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot out to the edge of the mat. If you're comfortable, come on the baby toe side of your foot. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side, opening up the left hip. If you can come down your forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead, more intense stretch. Now, if this is too much for you, please push yourself back up to the hand level. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Pushing yourself back up, heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot back to the center of the mat. Getting ready for the twist. Turn the body to the left side, right elbow. On the outside, lift my hands in prayer, press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow, stomach not resting on the thigh. If you can come up on the back toes, so lift the heel high, high up. You want to open up the arms for more resistance, go ahead. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the back of the mat for a hamstring stretch. You can either sit on the heel or come sit down. Point your left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the right arm. We make the thrust. Exhale, hinge forward, leading on the chest, holding on to any part of it for the toe. Chin is way from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, stomach a little bit closer. Neck is long, spine is straight. Stretching on the left hamstring, right ankle joint, lengthening the spine. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the top of the mat. Hands on the mat. Cut the right toes and start the mat like that. Coming forward to plank. Lower down. Control movement. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale to down dog. Take your time to set up. Walking it out, out, pushing the lats away, release the head down. You come to high lunge on the right side, inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Coming high up on the back toes. Modification, release the back foot down, Spray the hip to the front. Are you ready? Arms up, holding onto your ball. Front knees 90 degree on top of the ankle, back leg is straight, body's in the center, shoulders relaxed, eyes looking up. One more breath here, and we're going to go into runner's lunge, roll the shoulder back, arms by the side, palm facing up, thumb to sky, pinky to earth. Build a pinch in your shoulder blades. Locate at a point three to four feet in front of you. One straight line from the crown of your head to the back heel. Strong arm, strong core to hold yourself up. One more breath here. We're going to slowly come up, release the back foot. Going to humble warrior. So we're going to aim to lace the pinky behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Chin up, half up. And we're going to bow down to this space by the front knee. Lifting your arms up to your comfort zone. Release the head down towards the mat. Front knee is still 90 degrees. Back leg is straight. Head is below heart. Right shoulder on right thigh. One 
one more breath. I'm going to slowly, slowly come in back. Coming into a pyramid. Shorten your spine, square the hip to the front. Inhale, down. Exhale, bow down. Head to knee. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, place the hand on the shin. Slightly bend the front knee if needed, if you have tight hamstring. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly rise up. And we're gonna do a flow here. So we'll wind the hands back down the mat. Tap the back toes and step the right leg back. Come forward to plank. Lower down, elbows lower than the shoulders. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, to down dog. Take your time to set up. Lift the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Release the head down. Shifting half of the weight towards the legs to minimize impact on your wrist. High lunge on the inside. Right foot down, left leg forward towards the left hand. Coming high up on the back toes. Modification, release the back foot down. Sway the hip to the front. Arms up. Holding on to your ball. Engage your arms. Shoulders relax. Eyes looking up. Front knees 90 degree at an angle. Back leg straight. Bodies in the center. One more breath, and we go into runner's lunge. Roll the shoulder back, arms by your side, palms facing down. Body's in a 45 degree position. Locate a point three to four feet in front of you. Strong arm, strong core to hold yourself up. One more breath, and we're slowly releasing the lower back foot. Going to humble warrior, interlace it in the view. Knuckles down and away from you. Love the chin of the back. And we're going to bow down to this face by the front. Love your arms up to your comfort zone. Release the head down towards the mat. Left shoulder on the thigh. Just be mindful that head is below heart, so if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath, and we're going to release the hands, windmill the hands back down, and tap the back to assist that the left leg back. Come forward to plank. Lower down, drop to your knees. And we're going to come lie down on our stomach, going to a back extension. Legs are hip width apart, hands by your chest. Forehead down. When you press on the top of the feet, kneecaps automatically comes off. Lifting the hand chest up, hands off, kneecaps up, looking down to protect your neck. Staying here for five, three, two, one. Slowly and gently release everything down. Extend your arms forward, coming into Superman, forehead down, kneecaps up. Left in the hand, chest up, arms off, leg and thigh off, reach into opposite direction, looking down. So hopefully all these poses lying down in your stomach will help you to strengthen lower back muscles to support the spine, especially if you have back pain. Now we'll slowly release everything down. Swing your arm behind your back, going into a locus. If you can interlace the finger, go ahead. Modification, arm by your side, not touching your body. Rest in the hand, chest up. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. Leg and thigh off if you can. Looking down. Staying here for five. Three. Two. One, slowly, slowly coming back down. I'm down by your side, palm facing up, left cheek on your mat, big toes to touch. Let the ankle fall out. Taking a few breaths here. Sweet. 
Stretching on the left side of your neck, turning the ankle joint. Couple more breath here, relax. And we're gonna slowly bring everything back to the center. Stack your hands on top of each other, bend both knees, windshield wiper. Loosen up. Sway side to side. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly bring everything down. Come into a bow. Grab a hold of one ankle, a hold of ankle. If you can only do one ankle at a time, extend your opposite arm out. Take the feet into your head. Don't open up the legs too much. Lifting the hand chest up. Thigh off if you can. Those who are doing one ankle at a time, after a few breaths, switch side. If you want to, Rock and roll, go ahead, rocking forward, backward, side to side, massaging internal organs. And we're going to slowly roll back to the center to release. Coming into your seal, legs are apart as wide as the mat. We're going to come up on the forearms, shoulders relaxed, eyes looking forward. Now you can stay here if you like and push yourself up. More intensity here. If this is too much for you, please go back down on the forearms. Staying here for three, two, one slowly and gently release everything down. Once you come all the way down, we're gonna bring the legs together again. Big toes to touch, let the ankle fall out. Arm down by your side, right cheek on the mat. Stretching out the right side of your neck, turning the ankle. Just taking a few more calming breaths. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Meet you in a child pose. So we're going to slowly push ourselves up. Active child pose, knees apart, big toes to touch. Passive child pose, knees together. Now we're going to sing the hip down onto the heels. Forehead down, walking the fingers forward. Now, if you have a very tight hip joint and ankle joint, if you're not able to sit back, rest your forehead on stack head, stack fist, or on your block. It's more important to sing the hip down, then to lower the forehead down. We're lengthening the spine, opening up the ankle joint, hip joint. Massaging internal organs, massaging the third eye. Calming the mind for a moment. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly come in back up, and we're going to come to seated. Working on seated poses from here. Have a sip of water if needed. Bring the sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around your ankles, sitting up nice and tall, rocking side to side, finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up hip joints. Draw the heel close to you, grab a hold of the big toe on the entire feet. Inhale the lengthen, exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest. Bring the elbows on the outside of the shin. Chin is away from the body. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, get the stomach a little bit closer. Not dropping the head, rounding the back. Or become a hunchback. Mm -hmm. 
One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly coming back up. Sliding the feet a few inches in front of you. This is longer than it is wide. Coming into a turtle. We're going to slide ahead underneath to grab a hold of the feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, head to feet. Now this one we can round the back because we're turtles. You're going to feel some discomfort in your crotch area, in the thighs, out the thighs. Now if this is a good stretch for you, if you feel good, just stay here for a few more breaths. And we're going to slowly, slowly come back up to release. Windshield wiper, bend both knees, hands behind you, finger facing the same way as your feet. And we're going to drop the knee from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. The hips can come up. Now we're going to open up and drop both knees to the right side. Make sure the butt stay down. You should feel the stretch here. Watch the sub hip join. Look at the opposite side. One more breath here. We're going to slowly bring the knee back to the center and we're going to open up and drop both knee to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Make sure your butt stay there. Make sure you're going to stretch here. Pull the up hip joint. Look at the opposite side. One more breath here. We're going to slowly bring the knee back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce into the jaw lines. Come into a wide leg. Feel free to use the length of your mat so your ankles are still on the mat. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Coming into a forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge. Lead in with the chest. Bring the elbows in front of you. Bend the elbows so you have more room to come down. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, keep rolling the hip forward. So wherever you are to is good, don't worry about how far down you need to go. Over time, your body will open. So we're gonna use our breath to help us. Inhale, the length of exhale, keep rolling the hip forward. Lengthening the spine. Opening up your joint. Stretching our hamstrings. One more breath. Now we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Come into a side bend. So right foot hooking onto the right toes. Bring the toes to you. If you cannot touch the toes, so on to any part of the legs, go in this bend. Bend the now. Put a small room to come down. The other arm up. Reach and stretch. Open up the hand. Look in the top of the palm. After the length of, we're going to slowly bring the top arm over, looking up. Feel the stretch in the left side of the body. One more breath. I'm going to wrap the top arm around our waist. Reach for the opposite thigh. Keep the top shoulder up and open, looking up. Slowly, slowly coming back up. And we're going to do a forward bend on this leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn to the right leg. Shift forward, holding on to any part of the left foot at all. Chin is way from the body. Eyes looking forward. Inhale, leg. Exhale, bring the stomach a little bit closer. over to the other side, getting ready to come up, spread all your fingers, align the wrist with the shoulder, use your strong leg and your core to lift your hips up, coming into the eight pose. One 
one more breath and we're gonna slowly, slowly release and we're gonna repeat everything on the other side. So we're holding up the legs again. If my leg is difficult for you, throw the leg that you're not using. We're gonna reach for the toes. Holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. Or use your yoga strap. The other arm up, reach and stretch. Looking at the top to thumb. After we lengthen, we're gonna slowly bring the top arm over. Stretching on the right side of your body. The arm is on the right side. Stimulating meridian points. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open. Reach on the opposite thigh, looking up. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly coming back up. And we're going to do a forward bend on this leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, turn to the left leg, shift forward. Holding on to any part of the leg for the two. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring the stomach a little bit closer. One more breath. We're going to slowly walk your hands back and we're going to go to the other side, getting ready for being close. Align the wrist with the shoulder, use your straight leg and your core to lift the hips off the ground. Coming into the gate pose. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly turn back down, straighten out the legs, bounce a few times, get the flesh cut out from your butt. Setting up nice and tall, getting ready for double leg forward bend. Inhale, arms up, lengthen, exhale, hinge, roll on, holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into one leg forward bend. My left is your right. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Now we're going to come down. Form the hip joint. Needle of the chest. Holding on to any part of the lift for the two. When you come down, stomach come down first. Chest, head is along. Align your neck. In your spine in one straight line, so we're not dropping the head. Working with your breath always. Inhale the lengthening breath. Exhale is the fold. Bring this under the little bit closer. One more breath. We're going to slowly, slowly walk your hands back. Coming into a seated twist. Bring the belly on the outside of a straight leg. You can stay here. If you can bend the bottom leg, go ahead. If that's too tight, straighten out the bottom leg. Opposite arm, opposite. You draw it close to you. The other arm up and open. Bring it directly right behind your spine, or wrap around your waist. Front toes are up to the ceiling if you're doing a one leg version. Turning the neck as well. Massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. One more breath here. We're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, count the twist, bending out. We'll see you more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique, the side of your body. Front foot is on the mat. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. Moving on the other side, one leg forward bend, point your toes up to the ceiling, inhale, arms up, lengthen, exhale, hinge. Body is directly on top of the straight leg, roll on, the crease in your hands will be beyond your foot. Holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. When you come down, stomach come down first, chest, and it's the last. One more breath here. We're going to 
this on the mat, stretching out the lower back, oblique the side of your body. One more breath here, we're going to slowly, slowly coming back up, straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times, getting ready to lie down on our back for reclining poses. Take water if you need to drink water. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. I'm down by your side, palm facing down. Slightly tuck the chin in for all lying down poses. Hug the right knee into your chest. Wind releasing on the right side. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. We're going to inhale, relax the grip. Exhale, squeeze. Be gentle with yourself. Massaging organs on the right side as well as the side. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion, massaging the right hip joint. And reverse. Slowly coming back to center, coming into a spinal twist, right foot on left thigh. Using the opposite hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Right arm on shoulder height. Both shoulders are still on the mat. Turn and look at the right side. Be nice and good. Stretch, strengthen, and tone the lower back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce them a few times. And we're going to repeat. On the other side, wrap your arms around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit, gently pump it a few times. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the left side as well as descending cobra. Left hand on left knee, using a gentle circular motion. Massaging the left hip joint. And reverse. Slowly come back to center, spinal twist, left foot on right thigh. Using the right hand, gently guide the top knee as close or far as possible. Left arm out from the right. Palm facing up, palm facing down, doesn't matter. With every exhale breath, try to bring the top knee a little bit closer to the floor. Feel the stretch in the lower back muscles, creating spaces between L4 and L5, helping you to relieve back pain. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Bend both knees, wrap your arms around your knees, rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion if you like. Covering a big area. Massaging lower back and sacrum. Also helping you to relieve back pain. 
Go the other way. Slowly coming back to center. Lifting the head, chest up, head to knee. Make yourself small. Slowly release the head down. Lift your feet up to the sky, coming into a happy baby. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpits. Rocking side to side. Slowly come back to center, bring the legs together, hands behind the kneecap, flex the feet. Let the blood circulate back to your heart, helping you with circulation, stretching our hamstrings. Sliding the head further up the leg, or grab all the big toes, lifting the head chest. Engage your arms, bending the elbows. Tailbones automatically comes on. Slowly release the head down, and down by your side. Nice and slow. With control. We're going to release the legs back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce a few times. Coming into a bridge pose, bend both knees. Knees are too fist apart, don't open up too much. Walk the heel, close your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, lift the hips high up. Forming a bridge, roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Interlace the fingers. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. Engage your four abdominal muscles, your quarter seven glutes, keeping your hips high, high up. All the weights in the shoulder, very low weights in the head and neck. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the low back muscles, keeping your spine healthy and strong if you have back pain. Now we're going to come up on our tippy toes, lifting the hips even higher up. Chin is almost touching the chest, stimulating thyroid gland. One more breath, and we're going to release the hands down, release the heel back down. One word a bit at a time, release the spine back down. Once you come all the way down, wish your white foot, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Slowly, slowly come back to center. We're gonna straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Bring the sole of your feet together. Let the knee for out from a diamond shape. Release the spine down, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. Close your eyes. Hip release. It's like gravity does its job to open up the hip joint. Bring both knees together and drop them to the right side. Raise your right arm using a tricep as a pillow. 
Come lie down your side for a moment. Be this position. When you're ready, you're going to use your top arm to push yourself. Coming into a comfortable seated position. Big, big hug. Love yourself always. Place the fingers on the shoulder point. Now you can stay here. If you can go into eagle arm, lock the elbows back of the hand together. One hand, grab a hold of the thumb. You end up with the thumb facing your nose. Lift the elbows up and away from the body, forming an L shape. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release. Big, big hug on the other side. Love yourself. Place finger on your shoulder blade. Here we can lock the elbows, grab a hold of the thumb, lift the elbows up and away from the body, forming an L shape. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. We're going to interlace the finger, gently place it behind your head. Pull forward, release tension at the back of your neck. Slowly, slowly release. Bring your hands to our center. Thank you for watching, sharing your positive energy with all of us, and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.